A mammopexy procedure is also called a breast lift, meaning that we're putting up or pulling up our breasts. There are different types of mammopexy approaches. One of them will be the perioral approach, that what we do in this perioral approach is a final scar around the areola. And how do we end up with this final scar? Well, we'll take out some skin, and this skin what we take out will be, we'll do a big circle around the areola and then a smaller circle. Take all the skin around that, two circles, and then we'll do a pursuing string. A pursuing string, what we do is we take little bites of the small circle skin and then bigger bites of the big circle skin. And then we do that all the way. Little bites on the small circle, big bites on the big circle, all around it. And then we pull the two suture strings. And that will make my big circle become the small circle. And that way, I will pull up my areola. Another way to do a uh, mammopexy or breast lift will be uh, to cut and bring back the breast tissue so that we can actually pull up the areola by this approach. And this will give me different types of incisions or scars that will depend on how this rearrangement on my breast tissue will be done by my surgeon. It can be the final scar around the areola and a vertical incision, or we can end up with an inverted T incision that is around the areola, vertical and horizontal uh, incision on the submammary succulus, or also it can end up with a around the areola, vertical and then an L incision. So again, it's very important to talk with your, with your surgeon and really uh, let them know why do you want to do the procedure, what is the most important, let's see, tips that will be uh, grabbed by your surgeon and then your surgeon will do the exam on the breast and on yourself and both of you will decide together what will be the best surgical plan in your time, in your situation and because every patient is unique. We also need to remember why do our breasts come down? Well, they can come down because we uh, can gain weight and lose weight repeatedly during our lives. And that will make our breast tissue come up and down, up and down, ending up with loose skin. Same what that happens with pregnancies and breastfeeding. Our breasts will be filled with, with milk and then suddenly after the baby uh, uh, finishes breastfeeding, uh, then it will be deflated and we will have excess skin. Also, uh, this breast uh, tissue can fall down because uh, we have, from genetics, bad quality of skin. And that will make uh, our breast uh, easier to come down. I always say that our breast skin acts like a natural bra. You can say that our skin is our natural bra. And if that skin is not good enough, then uh, that uh, it will not hold uh, very good our breast tissue. Another reason why uh, we can end up with a breast ptosis or our breast falling down will be the gravity force of Earth that pulls everything down. That's why it's so important for us to wear a bra, always. For example, if we're standing up, the gravity force, Earth gravity force will pull my breast down. But even when we're laying down, guess what? Gravity force is also acting against our breast because when we lay down, the gravity force will pull our breast lateral. So that's why it's so important to also wear a bra when we're sleeping or when we're laying down. More info or any questions regarding mammopexy, we're ready to answer them. So go ahead, follow us, and ask the questions in our social media. And of course, in our webpage, www.drlinagena.com. So go ahead, help others know about mammopexy, help others know a little bit more on how it will be the best choices when we have a breast that we don't like that much and contact us. Bye-bye.